If you think you are an expert at figuring out creepy stuff, let's see if you are able to solve these unexplained videos. Number 5. Night has fallen and Franco TV is re-exploring this potentially haunted cemetery in Florida. Four signs of the paranormal. He doesn't even get through the front door before his flashlight mysteriously stops working, which is exactly what happened when he's come here before, so I think it's probably real. My mag light is not working. It isn't long before he's hearing scary noises and seeing strange shadows that do not belong to him. Eventually, he adds a second night vision camera that he hopes to catch a ghost with. After hearing more creepy noises coming from all over, he focuses across the cemetery and finally captures something weird on camera. I literally just heard a noise down here. In a dark room appears to be a ghostly figure, a woman in a chair with her back turned. The possible apparition does not say anything or react to the light being shined directly on her, which is beyond creepy. By the time he reaches the dark room, it's empty once again. No objects have been moved and the chair is still facing the same direction, like no one was ever there to begin with. Yet Franco is not convinced that he is alone, and rightfully so. I keep freaking hearing stuff out here. The ghost and the ghost hunter continue to play a game of haunted hide and seek until Franco has one last ghost sighting while walking around the perimeter of the cemetery. Hello? Ma'am? Do you need help? Do you need help? She doesn't say a word at him, but this time she does look over twice and then back at a marker, possibly her own. When she turns to him, you can just barely see the outline of a scary face. It almost looks like she has empty hollow sockets for eyes. Yeah. Not doing that. Now here's what I don't understand. Franco finally gets what could be a real ghost sighting on camera, and all he has to do is walk a few meters to get one of the clearest videos of a ghost up close. He could finally be the ghost hunter who proves once and for all that paranormal spirits are real, and yet he just walks away in the opposite direction. I guess he must have been really creeped out to turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity to prove that ghost sightings are real, or maybe this was somebody pretending to be a ghost. Tell me which one you think it was. Number 4. A YouTuber named Grasshopper222 captures an outbreak of paranormal proportions in his house when he goes on a short vacation. A brand new security cam system meant to monitor his housekeeper instead records some of the scariest CCTV moments of his life that makes him come home sooner than normal. This creepy doll is the first of many objects caught moving by itself. Grasshopper222 thinks a ghost moves it, but I think someone could be hiding around the corner with a string, so I wouldn't exactly call this solid paranormal evidence. At two minutes, the doll appears to wave hello, so that's weird. Unless that's just where the string is tied, then it's fake. It's too bad he doesn't include video of the other room to show no one is there. Anyway, this barely noticeable glare is a reflection from where the television turns on, either by itself or with a remote control. A cushion is thrown off the couch and another object falls over by itself soon after, both of which could be on strings. But look again at how the water bottle moves, or more specifically how it lands. At 43 seconds, the falling object appears to catch on nothing, almost like a ghost pushed it over and caught it in midair. Meanwhile, in the other room... A ghost opens the door and slams it shut. Then the ghost moves more objects. A cabinet, cup, red box, and other household objects all move on their own. But there's one big problem. 
something that just doesn't quite add up. The camera angle looks slightly different than before. So unless the housekeeper readjusted the camera, I think this amateur ghost video might not be real after all. Then again, with all of the other creepy stuff flying around, I guess the moving camera is also well within its capabilities. Number 3 Sergey Cavi is an expert volunteer who helps endangered wildlife. He shared this extremely bizarre sighting caught on video somewhere in East Russia and was surprised when the video went viral all throughout the country in barely seven days. In the video, a polar bear walks by with a strange message on its side. The cryptic face T-34 is evenly stenciled in large black markings that extend from its back to midsection seemingly for no reason at all. I thought this may have been for tracking purposes, but Kavi says that researchers would not do this to a polar bear because it would make them stand out against the snow and be unable to catch prey. I agree that there are other ways researchers would probably do this like a tag on the ear or a GPS chip. The bear walks normally so it was not recently sedated by researchers and it does not seem to be otherwise agitated or in distress. The local population is very small and close-knit. No one knows what this message means and nobody admits to putting it there. It's not something the average person could do without paying the ultimate price. After a lot of pressure from the public, a very small research outpost did eventually confess to putting the markings on. A problem bear that was going through the trash of a local neighborhood. They used large letters as a way for people to identify the bear and report the sighting. According to them, the markings were designed to wear off after two weeks and the bear was eventually relocated. It sounds like a reasonable explanation, but rumors continue to spread about this incident. Some people say that this isn't a true story, and that the polar bear may have been used in a project we weren't supposed to know about. The bear does not look to be outwardly experimented on, but it does look well fed and unafraid of humans, and if it didn't escape from a research base, then maybe it was released by one on purpose. As part of a controlled experiment for who knows what, based on this video however, I think this was most likely a bear who is simply going through the trash too often. But I think there has to be a better way to track polar bears than a huge T-34 marking on its side. This situation just seems bizarre. Number 2. A professional dog walker in Denmark is exploring the woods when her dogs sniff out one of the scariest things in the forest that she's ever seen. This mysterious sighting is growing from the wood. A strange mutation deeply embedded with many wrinkled folds that her mind scrambles to piece together as a beehive, but that's not it at all. To her horror, she realizes that the creepy forest find more closely resembles a brain than anything else. The tree has apparently sprouted more eerie things as well. Here's another. I think I can hear it beat at 9 seconds. The Denmark woman finds more strange growths at the base of the tree. This one in particular looks like it could just be some kind of exotic mushroom. Nothing mysterious there, but the other thing next to it looks really weird and I have no idea what the pure black center is. Experts suspect that all of what you are seeing is most likely a fungus of some sort. At least that's what they suspect. Even after watching this video, they are unable to explain exactly what type it is, especially the large pink one that looks like a brain, which is one of the largest formations they've ever seen. So assuming the experts are right, I still wouldn't want to be anywhere near the world's largest unidentified cluster of mystery fungus. And when she looks up, I can see at least one face in the tree. So I think that's another indication to leave these potentially haunted woods and never return. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. 
In January 2018, a Russian river randomly runs red. The scary unexplained event at the Molchanka River leaves experts baffled, and no official explanation has been released to this day. Let's take a closer look at the unsolved mystery years later and see if there's anything they've missed. Some people are seeing this as a warning and believe we must change our ways unless we want something even worse to happen in the future. That's really scary to think about, but I think there might be another component to the mystery. There are certain spots under the surface that still look relatively normal, so I think a layer of something is covering the water. Heavy levels of metal can also change the color of a river to red, so that's my guess. Officials have tested the water, but get this, the test results have mysteriously disappeared and never been made public. Freaky, right? What do you think is causing this? To this day, the mystery remains unsolved. These videos are freaking creepy. You know what word I want to use instead, so let's just leave it at that.